Welcome back to another video. In this video, we have a few things to talk about. In the Atlantic Ocean right here, we have Invest 90L, and then in the Gulf of Mexico, we have Invest 91L, which we'll talk about soon. Now, I thought that this storm right here would have been named Anna when I woke up this morning, but it still doesn't have the name of Anna yet. So it'll probably most likely have it around 2 p.m. Eastern time today. If not, then when we get the update later on tonight, this thing actually looks really good, a good subtropical storm. So for them not to name it would be very weird. I would be shocked. There are a few problems that Anna is running into, which could help weaken the storm or make it not get any stronger than what it already is now. And it's the fact that it's surrounded by a ton of dry air on the lower levels and mid levels of the atmosphere. The upper levels of the atmosphere is a little bit moist up there, but still that is something to take into consideration. So this is Invest 91L. Some of the models have this making landfall tonight. Some of the models have this making landfall early tomorrow morning, like 4 a.m. It doesn't look too bad. The Gulf of Mexico is pretty warm, but it's very weird because it's forming over here and usually our tropical systems form on the Eastern part of the Gulf of Mexico. It's not really that big of a deal, but who knows what this could mean for this year's hurricane season considering we already have two storms forming in weird spots. Tropical systems don't really form east of Bermuda at this time of year, and tropical systems don't really form in the western part of the Gulf of Mexico at this time of year. Now, in terms of the cloud top phase, these clouds aren't that tall at all. This is not an impressive storm at all. This one might not even get named, and if it does, it's gonna be very minimal stuff. I mean, really the main threat is how much rain is coming out of the clouds because eastern Texas and Louisiana has seen so much rain in the past few days. Just a storm dumping an inch of rain could flood. Invest 91L is also running into the same problem. You'll see there's a lot of dry air in the mid-level of the atmosphere wrapping into this storm, which is preventing these thunderstorm development. And then if we take a look at the lower levels of the atmosphere, look at this. Dry air surrounds the whole thing. So this thing is not going to be major at all. So if you live in Texas or Louisiana, you really don't have to worry about storm surge or winds. I would just be more concerned about your yard flooding or something. Before I talk about today's severe weather, let's talk about where these storms are going to be going. So first, Invest 90L, which will probably be named Anna shortly. So this storm is going to be circling its way southwest. You'll see Bermuda actually pop up soon. There it is. Bermuda. It's going to get pretty close to Bermuda, and then it's going to get swiped out of here thanks to a cold front, and then it's going to get shredded apart just like that. That's according to this model, which is the HMON. H -mon. Now, this model is the RGEM. We're looking at Invest 91L. I just want to show you, you'll see the center of the low pressure system making its way somewhere near Corpus Christi, Texas tonight. This one has it making landfall near like 3, 4 a.m. So, really nothing to worry about with these tropical systems. But we do have some severe weather today. In the Northern Plains, we do have a tornado threat, which is why we have a slight risk. We have a 5% chance seeing a tornado, and then some 2% chance seeing a tornado in Wisconsin and parts of Texas and Louisiana. We also have a wind threat covering parts of Tornado Alley, and a hail threat covering the Northern Plains. So today, basically what's going to happen, this is the afternoon, about like 1 o'clock. We're going to get them storms developing, and they're going to run through Nebraska, South Dakota, and North Dakota. And you could see some gusty winds and large hail with these storms. So it's the same idea for today, around like 4 or 5 p.m., these storms are going to flare up. Again, there is a tornado threat in this area. So we do have to be on the lookout, take a look on some of these soundings. We do have some wind shear in the upper levels of the atmosphere. We do have a cap though, so that might help prevent some storms from forming or um, keep them less intense, but it looks like they are going to break that cap. In the Midwest this afternoon, we're going to get some isolated cells forming. Could be some small hail, gusty winds with these. Just remember, you guys do have a 2% chance of seeing tornadoes here, mainly in Wisconsin. So if you do get put under a warning, make sure you take action. Same thing today for Texas and Louisiana. We're going to get some thunderstorms developing this afternoon. And as that invest gets closer, we could see some spin up and get maybe a tornado on the ground. If not, just some gusty winds. Anyway, new video out tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and positive subscribe if you enjoyed.